Alright guys, here's a how-to video showing how to tin wires as part of my how-to um, soldering series. Um, I said in my previous video with supplies, I like to wear gloves, um, either latex or vinyl, just so um, oils from your skin can, can really contaminate this stuff when you're touching it. And this is just some random old thing I got laying around just so I can make the instructional video. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and strip some of the wire off. I mean, wire coating. I'll show you on two terminals. Um, if you have a plug-in soldering iron, you'd already have that plugged in, nice and hot, ready to go. Mine's battery powered, so mine takes a second uh, to heat up. You'll have your solder, rosin core, ready to go. Um, tip, tenner, cleaner. You just stick the uh, soldering iron into this and it cleans it up and tins it for you. If not, you can um, tin the tip of your iron yourself with just uh, making sure it's clean and then putting a little bit of solder on the tip. And my tip's kind of got some old solder on here. It's kind of dirty, so I'm just going to let it heat up. Let it heat up a little here. I'm going to dip the iron into the tinner cleaner. Now this already pre-tins my wire for I mean my tip for me. So I don't need to do the additional step of tinning the tip, but you can always add a little bit more. It makes it the contact nice and hot with the wire itself. So after you've twisted the wire up, touch a tinned portion of your tip to the wire. Now you're gonna take your solder and just gently touch onto the top of the wire, not onto the iron tip, and it flows through very nice. Let me show you the other side. I'm going to try to get a little different angle on here for you. Maybe I can get it like this. See what I can do here. Alright. Hopefully you can see that okay there. I'm gonna do this I'll repeat the same step. I'm gonna heat up my iron. Like I said, mine is battery powered, so it does take a second. Um, make sure you clean your tip pretty pretty repeatedly um, just to keep the old old solder off of there and you get always have fresh solder on your tip. Go ahead and use my pre tin Okay. So now you should be able to see a little better. Gonna touch your soldering iron tip to the opposite side of where you're doing this. Now you're just going to Tin my tip a little more. There we go. Helps heat transfer. But once it heats up enough, my batteries are dying, but you'll get it. Now that it's heated up enough, you can see it just melts right in, right into the wire. And that's how you how you tin wires. Oops. See, my iron's batteries are dying, so it wasn't getting hot enough fast enough, so I melted my wire. But anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm just showing you how to tin. Um, clean the tip on the damp sponge after you're done. All right, nice and clean. Well, besides the melted wire, you can see how you can tin a wire. You can see what it looks like, and that this will provide a nice um, 
a great wire for apply, uh, soldering to another wire or soldering to a connector or soldering to a PCB board because you already have this wire pre-tinned with solder. It's full of solder so you can just easily transfer heat through this and also melt to another object that is tinned very quickly. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video.